everyone, this is Elaine from Elaine Ouyang Yoga Therapy. Today I'm going to show you a few of my favorite lower back relieving poses, string together into a short sequence to help you effectively release any tension through the low back, and especially if you also have any tightness and rigidity in through your hips, this will also be a good one for you. And for today, you don't need any props, we just need your bodies and find a comfortable space where you can lie down. So go ahead and lie down on your back first. Okay, however way that feels most comfortable for you. If you have any acute and inflamed low back issues going on right now, I would suggest coming onto your side, see the like this, and lying down first on your side and then gently rolling down onto your back. You don't wanna just plop down and um, create more strain in the low back more than necessary. So as you lie down, your knees will be bent and feet on the floor. Then you're going to bring your knees in one at a time. And I emphasize one at a time because you don't wanna just flop both knees in. Again, that will create too much strain in your lower back and too much loading that we don't need at this moment. You're gonna hold your knees side by side with your hands. You can also hold onto your opposite wrist or interlace your fingers to hold your knees steady here. Relax your shoulders where you can so that you're using your arm muscles to support your legs and let your thigh bones and thigh muscles rest in towards your belly. So there's a little weight coming in towards your torso. As you hold your legs at this position, soften through your low back to your best ability so that you're not using or using, you're using as little effort as you can through your hips, through your low back, through your belly and your thighs to keep your knees at this position. And in fact, you're going to use more of your arm strength to hold your leg in this position to allow both of your legs to soften inward and downward. So as you stay here, breathe with ease. You don't need to um, lengthen or make your breath fuller in any way. Just breathe in whatever is most natural and at ease for you. As your body softens, so will your breath, and you may find that your breath naturally starts to smooth out on its own. You may find this is a subtle stretch in the low back and in the hips. And continue to settle down into your low back area, through the back side of your body. Good. And then, holding just your left knee with both hands, gently step your right foot down to the floor. With your knees still holding, with your hands still holding onto your knees, you're going to circle your legs as if you're stirring a long wooden spoon, that is your thigh and thigh bone, into a bowl, that is your hip socket. Okay, so you're gonna stir in and through your hip socket. Again, as much as you can, try to make your leg heavy and hip soft, so you're really just using your arm strength to direct the movement. And keep, by keeping your hips soft, keeping your belly soft here, you're letting the effects really drive in to the hip socket and into the muscles that are deeply embedded into the pelvis. So in a way, you're using your own body to help massage inward that um, areas that we usually don't get into really. Even when you stretch or get a massage, it's quite hard to access. Go ahead and reverse your circles. Again, keeping your left leg fairly heavy, fairly effortless, so that your arms are instigating and directing the movement. You should feel strength and effort in your arm muscles to keep your legs circling. And your hips just passive and receiving the effects of this massage. One more round. And then go ahead and step your left foot down Notice how that feels between your left and right hip. For me, I'm feeling a little bit more space, like there's a, some um, space in there, it's a little looser. So let's take it to your right side. I'm gonna bring your right knee in again, just holding on the kneecap and around the kneecap. Allow your thigh to become heavy. 
then circle. Doesn't matter which way you go since we're going to go both directions eventually. Again, keeping your thigh heavy, your hips heavy, all the muscles around your hip and thigh region are effortless to your best ability. So that your arms are moving through this circular motion and you can even imagine your thigh bone like this long wooden stoom curving and carving and cleaning and scooping through the inside of your hip socket in the massaging, nurturing kind of way. And reverse your circle. So a lot of times with lower back tension, it does start from the hips. It does start from tightness and rigidity from the pelvis and the hip area. So massaging through these pelvic, deep pelvic muscles will really help just loosen up and resolve any tension in the lower spine. A couple more circles around. Good. And then release your right foot down to the floor. Once again, track through your body. See if you feel any difference between your left and right side. It just for me feels like there's more space in the front here and just a little bit more um, heaviness through the hips. Like it's really settling down into the floor. Good. And then go ahead again, one at a time, bring your knees into your chest. Like so, this time you're going to keep your left hand on your left knee and right hand on your right knee and spread your knees slightly apart. We're going to do similar motions as in circling the legs, but now this time they're circling independently from one another. Okay. And again, keeping your legs heavy, effortless, using your arms to direct the movement. So you will get a little bit of an arm workout here. And just circle to a width, to an extent that feels comfortable for you. You don't have to circle as wide as I am right here. Go ahead and reverse. Keeping your thighs heavy, thigh muscles heavy, effortless. Your, your thighs as long wooden spoons carving in and cleaning through the inside of your hip socket. Cleaning out the cobwebs. You can think of that sticky dusty, stubborn cobwebs in there, down there, somewhere. Okay, finish your last circle and bring both of your knees back in towards you. Okay, now again, step this right foot down. I'm gonna move into the hamstrings a little bit. And the reason why I go into the hamstring is a lot of times also with low back tension, it starts from tightness through the legs and that starts to pull upstream into your low back. And tight hamstrings come in many different forms. It can be from activities, from your running or biking or just hiking, or it can also be from extended periods of sitting, okay? So with your left knee in, you're gonna hold the back of your left leg. As you inhale, stretch your leg up towards the ceiling and flex your foot. Now, if holding your leg isn't quite accessible, you can always hold your pants leg like so. So inhaling here, and when you exhale, you're gonna hug that left leg in bend your knee and you're going to draw your left leg towards the outside of your left rib cage, almost like you're bringing it towards your left shoulder. And as you inhale, straighten your leg up to stretch through the hamstring, make sure you flex your foot and then exhale, hug your leg in towards you on the outside of your rib cage. Inhale, stretch your leg up. You should feel the hamstrings and maybe get back of the calf, back in the calf as well. And exhale, bring your thigh in towards you. This will help soften and loosen up through the low back. Inhale, stretch up. And exhale, bring it in. A couple more. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. All right. And step this left foot down to the floor. Once again, notice any changes through your left and right side. And you'll We'll do a comparison at the very end so that you can get the full picture of it. Bring this right knee in towards you and hold behind your right leg. As you inhale, stretch your leg up. Again, you can hold onto your pants leg here, flex your foot, and exhale, bring your right thigh towards the outside of your rib cage. Inhale, stretch your leg up, holding your pants seam if you need to, and exhale, hug your thigh in to the outside of your rib cage. I'm gonna go for a few more times. Inhale, make sure you flex your foot to stretch through the calf. 
Exhale, bring it in. A few more, inhale. Going at the pace of your breath, exhale. Inhale, stretch up, lengthen up through your heel. Exhale, bring your thigh in to the outside of your rib cage. Last one, inhale and exhale. Okay, and now gently step your right foot back down to the floor. Rest your arms by your side. Now we'll do a final comparison. I'm gonna stretch your left leg out and then your right leg out. Let your legs relax, see how they feel. Hopefully some structures of your legs and hip feel a little looser and a little bit more spacious. When you're ready, go ahead and bend your knees one at a time again. Roll onto your side, use your arms to press yourself up. So let me know how that goes for you. You can ask questions or let me know how it went underneath in the comment section below. If you want to learn more about what I do, uh, you can go to elaineyoga.com. I also have a private Facebook community and that's where I post a lot more content and resources and you can practice with me live in there. And the Facebook name is Yoga for Pain and Fatigue. If you like this video, please share to people who you know can benefit and make sure you subscribe. I'll see you next time.